Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Quadrilaterals, Constructing a quadrilateral with 4 sides and 1 diagonal, 3 sides and 2 diagonals, 2 sides and 3 angles, and 3 sides and 2 angles. So quadrilaterals. We have learned quite a bit about quadrilaterals that these are those polygons which have four sides. Now on the screen you can already see many different types of quadrilaterals. In some of them all the sides are equal while in others the sides are unequal but the angles are equal. Whereas in some of them the angles are 90 degrees, in some of them the angles are not 90 degrees but the sides are parallel. So that means there are many different types of quadrilaterals like parallelogram, uh, rhombus, rectangle, square, trapezium. So these are all examples of quadrilaterals. Now the question is, uh, if somebody asks us to draw a quadrilateral, so how would we draw them? So what are those things which you need to draw a quadrilateral? Now you can anyways draw a, draw four lines and you can say that this is a square. But in order for that diagram to be a square, it is very important that all the four sides that you have drawn are exactly equal to each other. Only then it will be a square. So what are those things which actually are needed to draw a quadrilateral? The first thing is the sides of the quadrilateral. The second thing would be the angles of the quadrilateral. So how many angles are there in a quadrilateral? There are four angles. The third thing could be the diagonals of a quadrilateral. Now if you know the measure of all of these, you would be able to draw a perfect quadrilateral. Now the question is, is it necessary to have all of these? Do we really need all the four sides, all the four angles and all the true diagonals? Or knowing a couple of these parameters can help us to draw the same. So let us have a look. Let us say that you are told to draw a quadrilateral, okay, with the measurement of the sides given. That means you are told to told that you have to draw a quadrilateral with four sides of uh, which measures. 3 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 7 centimeters and 8 centimeters respectively. Now if we do not provide any further information on the angles or the diagonals of the quadrilateral, will you be able to construct a quadrilateral knowing only the four sides of the quadrilateral? So now you see here, you would be able to draw definitely a quadrilateral but will you be able to draw my desired quadrilateral because a quadrilateral with four sides can be of many different shapes. For example, this is also a quadrilateral with uh, three, five, seven and eight centimeter sides respectively. This is also a quadrilateral with the same dimensions. But do you think that both the quadrilaterals are the same? They are not. They are, they look different. That's because their angles are different. The length of their diagonals are also different. So therefore, we do not say that you need all the four sides, all the four angles and all the two diagonals, but you need some information about all of them. So we can draw a quadrilateral if we know three sides, two angles of the quadrilateral. We can also draw it perfectly if we know the two diagonals and three sides of the quadrilateral. So it has to be a com combination of the sides and diagonals or sides and angles and only then we will be able to draw a perfect quadrilateral. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.